morning, everyone. I'm Katie Nolan with your top headlines for Tuesday, July 10th. A man is suing a strip club and some shit went down in a Pittsburgh Chuck E. Cheese. All that and more right here on your Guys in Speed Round. A man who has kept a nine-foot saltwater crocodile as a pet for years has decided to leave it to his son in his will. Sweet will, guy. Would you leave your daughter, your mother-in-law? The production company behind gems like Dance Moms and American Stuffers is planning a reality show based on mothers who breastfeed their children well after that's normal to continue doing. It's going to be called American Mom Stuffers. Dancing. A woman in Pittsburgh walked into a Chuck E. Cheese with a brick and a knife to attack her ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend at a children's birthday party. The brick was obviously to launch at her head, and the knife was to make sure she could get a slice of that crack pizza before she had to get out of there. Police are asking people vacationing in Morocco to help with the search for the man who killed a British family of four. So if you could just pencil that in right between the kayak tour and the nature hike, that'd be great. With tons of teenagers struggling to get jobs this summer, people are recommending that they use Twitter to help with their search. The social media tool can help provide tips for job interviews or even help you network with higher-ups in important companies. Better yet, just do a search for terms like sexy bitch and hot mama and find out where those people are employed, because those jobs should open up pretty soon. New York City's famous naked cowboy who hangs out in Times Square with a guitar in his underwear? Still? He's threatening to sue his rival, the naked Indian, unless he agrees to join his company. The cowboy's been out there every day for 13 years. Meanwhile, he says the Indian's only been there for 16 days and has already missed two. People are siding with the cowboy because they say he's cute and flirty. And also they're racist. A man in Florida is suing a strip club because he says he spent $600 there one night, but somehow ended up being charged $50,000. At $20 a lap dance, it would be pretty difficult to rack up a bill like that. I'm assuming they just included the cost of his inevitable divorce. An Egyptian couple was caught trying to sneak their baby into the United Arab Emirates in a carry-on bag when they put it through the x-ray machine. Our Baby's not allowed in the UAE? Or is this just a weird cover story for the fact that they can't afford health care, and that's a free x-ray? A young, attractive woman has been accompanying North Korean leader Kim Jong-un to a number of events recently, but because the media is so tightly controlled in that country and no one really knows anything they aren't being fed by the government, people aren't sure if it's his wife, lover, or little sister. If you don't understand why that's hilarious enough in and of itself, you're probably from the southern United States. New studies show that babies that spend a lot of time around dogs have fewer respiratory ailments and ear infections than those that don't, and also fewer limbs. Lance Armstrong requested a restraining order against the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency on Monday to avoid further punishment for his multiple doping violations. He told them, yo, USADA, hop up off my ball. A man helped deliver his daughter-in-law's baby with a pair of shoelaces after she unexpectedly gave birth after just four contractions. And as impressive as that is, it will always be overshadowed by the fact that your dad just saw your wife's vagina. Up close and personal. Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes have reportedly already reached a settlement in their divorce. Or as I like to call it, hush money. An elderly couple had such a heated argument about where to watch the last game of Wimbledon that they ended up getting in a car accident. Apparently, the husband had said to one of his friends a couple years ago, if I ever start listening to my wife about where to watch sports, just kill me. The website SexyMandarin.com is totally jacking Van Wilder's topless tutor swag and offering lessons in China's official language by women in skimpy lingerie. This just drives the point home that most people on the internet don't realize you could do anything while simultaneously watching porn. And then you wouldn't need people to randomly take their shirts off. Just say. 
And that's going to do it for your speed round, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, comment down below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't laughed yet, then there'll be a link in the description to a video that will make you do so. Enjoy your Tuesdays, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow with more headlines that you need to know. Lily Allen is pregnant with her second child. And in other news, so is my next door neighbor's daughter's best friend. Just as relevant.